See, I have died for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to enter the sacred mysteries, calling to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that may fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Return, rebellious children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you one from a city, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. When you multiply and become fruitful in the land, says the Lord, they will in those days no longer say, The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. They will no longer think of it, or remember it, or miss it, or make another. At that time they will call Jerusalem the Lord's throne. There are nations, there all nations will be gathered together to honor the name of the Lord at Jerusalem, and they will walk no longer in their hard-hearted wickedness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror, shouting, They shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into, into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the soul. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. 
The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm afraid this is going to sound very basic, but I think if we can put it into practice, it may be of some real benefit. Uh, this is a time, obviously, when most of us are looking for some hope, right? Hope is a precious commodity. With all of the things that are going on in our, in our world and in our hearts, our personal lives, we can often find ourselves grasping for, you know, a ray of hope, as they say. And today, this theme of shepherding comes forward, and you can see that in shepherding, there's a, there's a relationship that's needed. There's kind of a cooperation between the shepherd and the sheep. Of course, the shepherd's job is to guide, and in guiding, he also protects. He leads to where there's water and, and nourishment. He protects from the threats that are out there. But the sheep, obviously, in this regard, the metaphor applies to each of us. We need to allow ourselves to be led. We need to follow. We need to watch the shepherd. We need to listen. And then to respond to the indications of the shepherd's guidance, right? So I said, it's a very basic message. Uh, but let's not overlook that if we were to try to focus on that concretely today, what would that look like? How could I today, July 24th, Friday, cooperate with the shepherd a little bit better than maybe I did yesterday? So during the course of today, you know, watching the shepherd, listening, and then responding. In other terms, it's about listening to the Holy Spirit, letting the Holy Spirit guide us through our day. Now, I don't know about you, but I know I also have this rebellious spirit that seems to have afflicted God's people from the very beginning. We want it our way. Thank you. Anybody else honest? Honest? I want it my way. Okay, I want to tell the shepherd, no, let's go over here. <laughs> Here's where all the shiny things are, you know, or whatever. And that rebelliousness that is the desire to have my own will accomplished works against the shepherd. So today, it's about turning my day over to God in a conscious way. Really saying to God, shepherd me today. Help me to slow down. So whatever, let's just say, whatever plans you had today, cancel them. Huh? Because you, know, you want to talk to your grandkids on Zoom. You know? There's a lot of good things, and those may be the will of God for us. But there's a way we can cultivate a heart that is ready to shift, ready to pivot, because we have listened and something is interrupted and God is saying, no, let's do this. That requires a certain um, agility. You might call it a spiritual agility. You know, that being poised to shift and change plans because God had something else in mind. And it's probably better than our plan. So today I want to just ask you maybe to experiment with that through, first of all, consciously slowing down, listening and watching, and then responding. And I think that by the end of the day you'll see the hope that we need. You'll see signs that God is shepherding, that He is providing and leading you where uh, He knows you will find rich pastures and safety.
God promised faithful shepherds for the people in ancient times. We pray for wise shepherds for his church in our time. That Pope Francis and all the bishops of the church may model their ministry of that of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and be wise and merciful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the work towards Christian unity may not falter, but be a constant movement forward until the will of Christ, that all may be one, is realized. We pray to the Lord. Lord, May Christians accept that they share, that they must share the cup of the Lord's suffering in order to share the joy of His glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our We pray for the intentions of the Saint Anne's altar. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Father. What marvels you work for us through your Son, Jesus Christ. You grace us with life and love. Bring us to the heavenly home through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion the varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we meet this prayer and drink of this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord and continue to come with him. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. You know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of work for our parish, sort of off-center stage, or even behind the scenes. And uh, it would be a long time me just going name by name through all of them, but today in a particular way, I want to thank Deacon John. Uh, he's done an incredible amount of work for us in these last several months, and uh, just want to, you to know how much I appreciate all the sacrifices you've made and the diligence with which you've done all those things. Um, really hoping that this weekend will be our first weekend to use our new camera system. I don't even know if you've noticed the white camera there back about midway up the wall. Uh, look for something white a little bit to the right. That's the camera. And uh, it's really, we've seen some of the test runs and there's going to be a training today uh, for Deacon John on how to operate the camera. So a lot of work has gone into that, and soon we'll not just have recorded Mass, but actually live stream Mass. Um, the feed also goes to the TVs in the Narthex and to a TV in Panzini, so that uh, on those occasions we, when we have an overflow, or perhaps there's a celebration going on, and you want to know while you're getting ready for your event, like confirmation, what's going on in here, they'll be able to see simultaneously what's going on in the sanctuary. So uh, really grateful again for all the hard work that's gone into that and a very generous donor who uh, helping, who allows that to happen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.